Hello, welcome to a lockdown Spain. The only thing that's moving out here is transport, essential workers. Um, the garages are open but they're serving through the night hatches. They are letting use the toilets out here but there's no restaurants. All of a sudden these flip-flops that live out there side lockers and everything and have the food are the ones that are doing fine thank you for a long time I have always been told I'm antisocial I'm uh, not normal because I'm quite happy to be on my own I am um, and now I, I find it amusing that people are finding it difficult to self-isolate uh, as long-distance drivers were self-isolated all the time sometimes I go days without speaking anybody in English unless it's on the phone. Um, yesterday I spoke to two people. One was in the delivery point and at the security and he took my temperature and uh, the other one was uh, the guy at the back door that took my paperwork and then gave me my paperwork back. Um, I really... Somebody said, oh, I, I'm reveling in my own self-importance now. I really don't feel that like that. I just feel um, like welcoming welcoming you all to our world, and this is what we do. And people moan about us getting drunk on a boat. They moan about us um, being loud or, or when we actually are together. But it's so rare that we get to be together. We get to have a laugh. That um, they people just don't understand. They think that they they. Um, that their way is right and I do actually feel justified in the fact that I don't need to be um, with people all the time I don't like people visiting my house I like my small world um, I don't want to talk um, This, these blogs are the biggest um, things that I've done for a long time but it's only to try and get people to realise that we are not the abnormal ones we are just quite happy going along and we don't want to be team players we don't want to have people in our lives um, that are not special people the people that I talk to are my sister in Australia but there is no difference now from me um, video calling my sister in Australia than there was last year and me video calling my sister in Australia there are um, there are odd people that I talk to all the time there are friends in this job that you meet that you don't see very often and the only contact you have with them is on the phone 90% of the time but they're the people that you know understand what's going on they understand that you worry about what's going on at home and they understand that you know they can't make anything better I can't make anybody's life better but I can just be um, be here and say yeah let's go for a beer yeah I know shit for me too and we just go on but we're the ones that keep the shops filled we're the ones that help you that we are the undercurrent of people a bit like the cleaners how important are cleaners in this time you know there are de the world is desperate for cleaners and yet they walk past you every day they always have done throughout your life and you know you may have a big house you may have a fantastic job that pays you a fortune with a big car but you know what just imagine that life without a cleaner, without somebody that's keeping the, the restrooms clean, that's keeping the hotels clean, that's keeping the bars clean. Just imagine your life without that, without those cleaners. How important are they to you? So next time you see a lorry driver, next time you see a cleaner, just say, cheers drive, thanks love, thanks, thanks matey for keeping everything clean. The ferries, the planes, the offices, they wouldn't be the same without you. Just give them a mention. I'm not reveling in my self-importance right at the moment. What I'm saying is to all of you, welcome to our world. It's not that bad. It really isn't. Self-isolating? Piece of cake. <laughs> Do it every day.